The following is a selected video from VideoMathTeacher.com, where you can explore over 10,000 videos, print out practice worksheets, find proofs and discussions on many math topics, and explore related videos. Try VideoMathTeacher.com today. Let's use reference angles to find the following trigonometric function. We're given cotangent of 5 pi over 6. To use reference angles to find this exact value, we'll first convert our radian measure of 5 pi over 6 to the green measure. Then we'll draw our angle on the unit circle to the left and find the reference angle for it. Then we'll use the reference angle theorem to find the exact value. So we'll begin by first finding the degree measure for our radian measure of 5 pi over 6. To convert radians to degrees, we'll take 5 pi over 6 and multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. In doing so, we see that the pi's will cancel and that 6 cancels into 180 30 times. So we're left with 5 times 30 degrees. This simplifies to 150 degrees. So cotangent of 5 pi over 6 will find the fi same answer as cotangent of 150 degrees. Next, let's draw our angle in standard position on the unit circle to the left. To draw the angle 150 degrees in standard position, we'll start on the positive x-axis and swing a positive arc upward until we arrive at 150 degrees. So swinging an arc upwards, we know that if we go to the positive y-axis, this would be 90 degrees. So we would need to go another 60 degrees, which would land at this terminal side. So this will be 150 degrees. To find the reference angle, recall that the reference angle is the smallest positive ang angle made with the x-axis that's coterminal to our given angle. So the smallest positive angle made that's coterminal with this angle would be here. To find the measure of this angle, we recall that if we were to go 180 degrees would be half a circle. We've already traveled to 150, so the remaining part will be our reference angle. To find this, we'll subtract 180 degrees minus 150 degrees. Subtracting, 1 minus 1 is nothing, 8 minus 5 is 3, and 0 minus 0 becomes 0. So our reference angle will be 30 degrees. We'll write our reference angle with the variable t with a prime symbol. So our reference angle, t prime, is 30 degrees. To find exact value of cotangent of 5 pi over 6, we'll use the reference angle theorem, which is, to find the value of a trigonometric function of any angle, t, determine the function value for the associated reference va angle at t prime, and then depending on the quadrant in which the original angle, t, lies, the answer will be either positive or negative. So this means, that for us to find cotangent of 150 degrees, this will provide, through the reference angle theorem, the exact same value as cotangent of our reference angle, cotangent of 30 degrees. Except, in the second quadrant, we recall that cotangent is negative. So cotangent of 150 will give us the same answer as negative cotangent of 30 degrees. So next, we need to find cotangent of 30 degrees, and we recall that cotangent on the right is the x value over the y value of the ordered pair of that point. So for 30 degrees, that we could draw in the first quadrant the angle 30 degrees, which would be here. And at 30 degrees, we recall that this ordered pair on the unit circle is the ordered pair root 3 over 2 comma one-half. So for this, we can now use cotangent of 30 degrees to find x over y. So this will become cotangent of 150 degrees becomes negative. Cotangent is x over y, which will be the x value of root 3 over 2 over the y value of one-half. We can simplify this since we're dividing two fractions. This will become negative root 3 over 2, and inverting and multiplying our second fraction, 1 over 2 will become 2 over 1. 
the twos cancel and we're left with negative root 3 over 1 which will simplify to negative square root of 3. So we find that cotangent of 150 degrees using reference angles simplifies to the answer of negative root 3. In summary, cotangent of 5 pi over 6, we converted to a degree measure and found its radian, its reference angle. And once we found the reference angle, we were able to use definitions of x over y for cotangent to find from the unit circle the value of negative root 3. We conclude by saying that cotangent of 5 pi over 6 becomes negative square root of 3 as our final answer. So we'll write here that cotangent of 5 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6 becomes negative square root of 3. That's our final answer.